Hey guys, it's Steve. So continuing on with our pit barrel cooker video series, this time I'm gonna show you how to smoke some ribs. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get our ribs prepped here. I've got three nice looking racks of uh, some, some loin backs or more commonly known as baby backs. So what I like to do, you can use um, like olive oil uh, or mustard, but I like to use mustard and all this is gonna do is just create a binder for our barbecue rub. So you just wanna get uh, both sides coated just a nice light coat you don't need to go too crazy with this all right so we've got our ribs lightly covered with some mustard here and uh, I meant to mention obviously before you um, add your mustard binder uh, first thing you do on ribs is you remove the membrane so I'd already removed the membrane uh, on all three of these racks of ribs so um, we're gonna get these dusted up with the uh, pit barrel cooker all-purpose rub so the great thing about the pit barrels when you uh, order one, um, they give you the all-purpose rub and then the beef and game rub. And uh, if you check out my video, uh, my other videos on the pit barrel, you'll see uh, where I'm using those and uh, really good stuff, comes out really good. So all we're gonna do is just kind of give these a light coat. All right, so we've got these nice and dusted up on both sides. This uh, all-purpose rub gives the ribs here great color. Now, lastly, I wanna give a big shout out to Ben. Uh, and his girlfriend, um, they are um, they're one of my uh, s uh, subscribers and they sent me um, some of this Dark Horse Specialty Foods whiskey uh, smoked brown sugar and then uh, just a regular smoked brown sugar. So I'll put a link in the description. But Ben was telling me this uh, whiskey smoked brown sugar is so incredibly good that he uh, sent me some to try out on some ribs. So thanks a lot again, Ben, for the hookup. I appreciate you sending that out my way. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some of this brown sugar. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. And just sprinkle some of it on top. And then I'm gonna let these ribs sit out at room temperature uh, for about 30 minutes or so while we get the pit barrel fired up. All right, I almost walked off and forgot to hook our ribs. So here is one of the stainless steel hooks, uh, pit barrel hooks, and you know, this is just gonna kinda uh, hang on the rebar inside of the cooker. And the idea is on ribs, you just wanna uh, go for this uh, thicker uh, uh, end down here, and you wanna go down at least two bones. So there's one bone, two bone, and so we're just gonna go right through there, and just try to get it in the middle, and then there you go. So I hope you can see that, you just kinda pick it up just like that and the whole thing will lift up and you'll just hang it right on the rebar. All right guys, so I have the pit barrel fired up. Check out my, um, the first video uh, in the series where I smoke a Boston butt. I'll have a link uh, right here in the video so you can go check that out to see uh, the procedure for firing up the pit barrel cooker. Um, but what we're gonna go ahead and do now, so we've got our ribs and all you do is you just drop them on the hook just like that and um, you can easily smoke eight to ten racks of ribs on this pit barrel cooker i mean you can see these are three massive racks and i mean look how much room there is there ton of room to put more uh more racks of ribs on there so what we're going to do now we're going to get the lid shut and then we're gonna come check on these in about three hours. Okay guys, it has been right at the three hour mark, so we're gonna go ahead and check our ribs. And what I'm gonna do here is just take our little hook tool and lift this first rack up and just kinda lay it across there just for a second. And what I do is I just take a toothpick and I like to see how easy the toothpick will slide through the meat. So there's still some, it, it, you know, these are starting to get done, um, but I like them more tender than this. I like the, the toothpick to slide into that meat a lot, a lot um, uh, easier than it's doing right now. And so I'm probably gonna give these another 
uh, 30 minutes or so, maybe 45 minutes. I'll check them every 15, 20 minutes or so. And uh, once, once they get a little bit more tender, then we'll go ahead and sauce them. And then you just go ahead and set it right back down, just like that, and get the lid back on. All right, guys, it has been another 30 minutes, and um, these ribs are looking great now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these sauced. Um, Another one of my viewers that I want to give a shout out to today uh, is a guy named Craig and um, Blues Hog Original is one of my favorite sauces and he asked me if I'd ever had the, this uh, Smoky Mountain sauce, the Blues Hog Smoky Mountain, and I had not and so he sent me a bottle of it and uh, I just tr tried it a few minutes ago and it's absolutely amazing. It's basically like the original but just with some kind of smoky hickory type flavor on it. So all we're going to do is just kind of drizzle a little on top just like that. And then just get this nice and basted with this barbecue sauce. And then they're going to go back on the pit barrel for another 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so we've got them nice and sauced up. And again, just using your hook tool, just going to bring it right back in and just drop it right back on there. And then we will take these off in about 20 minutes and pick back up in the kitchen. All right guys, so I took one of the three racks of ribs, went ahead and just cut it up. Total cook time was just four hours. So the, again, the first three and a half hours uh, was just basically sitting there hanging on the rebar and then the last 20 minutes or so was after I sauced them. And um, man, the color of these just came out so good. Wish you could smell them. Check that out right there. Just a gorgeous looking rib. Go ahead and uh, have a little taste. Mm, wow, that was amazing. Let me uh, try to show you that right there. Um, you know, when I bit into it, the meat just, it still has some grip. You're, you know, you wanna have a little bit of grip. You don't want the meat just to completely fall off the bone like mush. But you can see where that meat just came right off when I took that bite there, so. Excellent, excellent results. Um, I continue to be impressed with the pit barrel cooker. Um, check out uh, the links in the video description. And uh, um, I've got two or three more videos uh, in this pit barrel playlist. So make sure to check back soon. So hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Please subscribe to my channel and um, we'll see you again soon.